In that ancient age, great change came only through war. Thus, controlling Soul Edge meant ruling the world. The Hero King, being the man he was, one could say it was inevitable that he would bring peace to this warring world. I won't record the Hero King's name here. Someday I may decide the time is right to reveal it, but that time isn't now. It is said the Hero King lost Soul Edge due to his jealous son. After the Hero King killed his son, the Spirit Sword Soul Calibur was born from the remnants of the Cursed Sword. Indeed, the Cursed Sword and the Spirit Sword both come from the very same steel. While the name Soul Edge is known to a select few, the name Soul Calibur is known to almost no one. There is a reason the Spirit Sword was never revealed to the world. Some say the Hero King created the Spirit Sword, but the truth is that the Hero King risked his life and failed. Those who would carry on the Dead King's wish and perfect Soul Calibur were to come later. They were known as the Guardians of the Spirit Sword. Like a thief in the night, they took the Spirit Sword and withdrew into the dark recesses of history. They told others of the Hero King's Spirit Sword and that they were going into hiding to both prevent Soul Calibur from being used for evil and to prepare for the threat of Soul Edge.